Hey folks, so I want to talk about TypeScript and path aliases using Cypress with end-to-end tests, which I think I've shared this information before, how to use path aliases with end-to-end tests. The more tricky part is how to use path aliases from component tests, because those guys may be reaching out of the source folder into Cypress folder and support and whatever. So the scenario is you have this Let's say you have this file on the support folder in Cypress and you want to be able to use it easily in the Antoine test as well as in the component test. So we have this function that just returns a string. And if we have an Antoine test, we can just import it from whatever the support is. Of course, it's going to find that folder if you click on that. Right. So we can just import it from there and then it's going to run the test as normal. So it's just uh, this is the create hero test looks like a hero and it just runs that test by itself knows that that string is equal to whatever we import okay so let's say we have all this hierarchy file folder hierarchy with n one test we want to make this easier we can try to use path aliases all right and that would be the convention is using an at sign so basically saying hey i don't care where it is just find the support folder over where i have my TS config JSON, which I have a TS config JSON here in the Cypress root. I think this is a good way to configure TypeScript with Cypress. So to make this work, we all have all we have to do is add a base URL. So we're saying a hey, base URL is wherever my TS config file is existing, and then path. So add support will be from my root, my, which my TS config JSON is going to be this support folder, right? So let's just add that here. And when we add that, of course, we may have to restart TS server. That takes a second or so, but then it's back to OK. So we can just test it by clicking on this thing. And let's see, the test is OK too, right? So TypeScript's happy, test is happy. You're using path aliases. We're making it very easy to refer to files that may be deep in the hierarchy. Right? So nice. Now, the problem is. Let's say this. The problem is when we have component tests and we want to use things from the support folder. So I created this component test. It's kind of a copy of what I have for another component test. And here I am reaching outside of the source folder into the same file that we were looking at. And basically run the same test, right? So let us start up some component tests. Yeah, start open CT and then see if this is a doable thing. Um, usually what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to reach out of the source folder. For instance, with Create React app, it doesn't allow you to get out of source. With Webpack, you may have some configuration that this allows developers to get out of the source folder so that they don't do any monkey business, basically. Right? Long story short. But you know, with Cypress, you know what you're doing, hopefully. <laughs> and you want to import at the component test from the Cypress folder, support folder, or maybe fixtures. It could be either. So right now I have relaxed things. So I have hacked my way through Webpack and we can import um, from Cypress folder, that Cypress support folder. And this is going to work in just a second. So it's a component test take about a few seconds, but this works, right? Like heavy is heavy, right? So the, the trick is going to be, all right, how do I make path aliases work like that? So maybe at Cypress or maybe at support, and maybe it's better to say at Cypress to, I don't know, just add both, I don't care. So yeah, we want to make this work and we want to make TypeScript happy in the first place. And then we want to make Webpack slash Cypress happy. Um, so let's just look at our TypeScript settings here. So we have another file at the project root. All right, so it does have a base URL as source, and um, I would recommend that you keep it this way, right? Keep it as source, and we can bring in something similar. So let's just do a side by side in these TS config files. So we had paths under there like that, but now the trick is that um, we're going to, since our 
Yes, config is in the root, right? But the base URL is under source. So the path, we're going to have to make it relative to um, the source file, right? So it will, they will have to get out of the source files and just go one folder up and then go to Cypress folder and then support and then fixture. So I added Cypress as an extra, but otherwise it's the same. We just, here we're in the same URL. Here we are one directory lower because that's what how we want to configure our base URL. And let's just take a look at this. And then that squiggly goes away. All right, so TypeScript's happy. You click on this, it goes to the right place. But here is the annoying problem. So let's just save this. I don't want this to fail. But maybe I have left my webpack config settings in there on the Cypress config. Oh, the magic's already here. So let's just remove this, right? So usually you're not going to have that here, but like this, those settings, the webpack settings are by default not there. Uh, it takes a while. I'll just start from scratch. So the web patch settings under Cypress config have nothing to do with TypeScript. TypeScript is still happy. Right? It will compile, won't find any TS issues. However, when you try to run a Cypress test like this, the webpack config of Cypress knows nothing about that path aliases. In even if you were outside of Cypress, right, you would have to separately configure webpack from TypeScript so that Webpack would know about these path aliases. So let's just run this again. And sometimes, like if you have create React app, you would have to use either you would have to eject or use Krako to configure webpack settings. And, and those are all doable; they're fine. But we are not really trying to import Cypress files and folders from source code. We are strictly in Cypress component, and so it's quite clean, right? We're not really messing with anything, it's just Cypress component. So this is the error you get saying, hey, I can't find that as Cypress support heavy import, blah, blah, blah. Let's just open up the TS config setting so we can compare. So the magic is right here. So we are creating our webpack config resolve and an alias property. So you can kind of see the similarity in between, but the trick is that Right now, we are this this um, config file is in the repository root, right? So the alias is that's going to resolve. First, of course, you need the thing. You need this. Yeah, you need path. Otherwise, saying important findings not used. Maybe it's not even needed. Okay, let's just kill it. Let's see if that still works. No, it doesn't work. So that error was bogus. Anyway, you will have to import path, right? That's for sure. Their name is basically where we are, which is a root. Now, um, it doesn't work if you try to do kind of like this, right? So each argument is like treated as a array, a string array. Right? You have to do it that way. And then you just put the values there. And as a result, let's just be starting because I don't like to wait for it. As a result, then you'll be able to import stuff in the support folder in the Cypress component test. So if we take a look at the PR, which I'll share in the rest of the PR until it's green, but kind of shows you, hey, this was the problem. And then how to make it better. Basically, we add that alias uh, settings to Webpack config of Cypress. That's just the component test. And as an addition, I just added this part here. But uh, you know, to try out without this, I think no, no, this this is fine. This is just a root TS config. Yes, you'll definitely need this because we are basically at a source code file and trying to. So this 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 part is strictly for to make TypeScript happy, and this part is to make Cypress happy. But with these two settings, then you'll be able to import from Cypress source, and then it's going to compile, 
I hope this helps you. Um, it, it, it's kind of helping us quite a bit at extent soon enough because we have these heavy ports that I don't want uh, more than to load right in the beginning where all Cypress component tests are being loaded because it slows things down so much. Uh, so we're basically looking into linear imports uh, since we can't migrate out of Webpack. But uh, the, the use case is applicable anywhere, right? Like whether you're with Webpack uh, or Vit or anything, basically you have stuff, you have Cypress component tests in the source code and you want to import from fixtures or support this approach makes that super seamless. You just say add Cypress, or you could even say add support since that's already there too. And even that's going to work because we added that as an extra. So I'll leave that to them however they want. Um, maybe add Cypress is a little more descriptive because it, it might look, okay, although this is a component as what is the support, maybe they're not familiar with Cypress. So this makes it kind of explicit that, hey, I'm importing something from over Cypress support, and that's good enough, I think. Anyway, that's all. Enjoy. Thank you.